Okay, let's talk about searching. So let's search for a snare, snare drum sound. Okay, so I'm gonna type in my search bar here and say snare, okay? Nothing comes up, why? Because I'm in UVI. I'm in this collection right now. So I'm gonna go back to all. This is the best use case for that library item all. This just shows you all of everything, which is otherwise useless unless you're searching. So when I go here, now I can drill down a little bit deeper. I find a bunch of stuff, right? Like this is snare stuff, right? This is not useful to me. This is a very, very, very long list. So if you don't see these filters here, open up this little tab, right? Here's filters. So now I can say, well, what kind of snare am I looking for? Am I looking for a sample or a preset or a groove or a device? Let's say sample, okay, that narrows it down a lot. Do I want a loop or a one shot? A one shot is a term that we use for um, a snare sound that's just a it's just crack, just one, just that. A loop is you know gonna be a pattern or something. So let's do a one shot. Uh, it's asking me if I want it in the ambient and FX category. No, I don't think so. Snare tag, yes. Do I want it to be a hit, rim, or an articulation? Let's do a rim. Acoustic, analog, digital, let's say acoustic. Okay, that's enough to get me just a whole bunch of good snare rim sounds. So let's listen. Perfect, that was all of them. This last one, maybe not so rimmy. Okay, so now I've got, I don't know, maybe 20 here to choose from. That's way better than that giant list. So you wanna use these filters and tags. Now you can edit these filters and tags by going to this edit button here, and you can tag things certain ways, and you can see things about this particular sample, what it's been tagged as. So it's tagged as hit, and you could say, oh, this is actually a clap, and add that to it if you wanted. But also what's really cool is you can save this search. So if I said, here is a live search for all my rim clicks, I could hit this little plus sign here, and it's gonna put it right here. I'll say rim clicks and return. Okay, now this little button here in my library is a live search. So if I installed some packs or a new library or anything and it had a bunch of new rim sounds in it, it's gonna show up here automatically, right? This list is gonna grow as I do that. So that can be really handy. I'm gonna control click and say remove this. So that's browser tags, we can search I'm gonna click all, search for kick, and then we've got these tags we can use to help us drill down better and sift through the things we don't want much faster. Cool? All right.